I, I, you know, I hate to use the term test because it's, I, I, you know, the test means that you can fail it or you can pass it and, and it's going to determine the rest of your season. I prefer to just say this is going to be a really exciting weekend between two storied programs and um, the result of the weekend, it's not, it's not the same as if we were going to Mississippi State or going to Georgia or going to wherever we're going because the SEC record means everything to us. Whether we sweep the series or get swept or something in between, I don't think it makes or breaks our season. I mean, it certainly would be nice to win the games. We're going to do everything we can to win the games. We're going to try, you know, we're going to, we're going to approach it like it's an SEC weekend. And certainly if you can win the games, it helps your RPI and may help, you know, prospectus for whatever down the road, whether it be a national seed or just getting a bid. It could help in all those things. But, I mean, I, I hate to talk in negative terms, but just say hypothetically it wasn't a good weekend. We go out and win the SEC, we're still going to be a national seed. So I don't, I don't think that the results of the weekend are going to make or break our season. What I do think it's going to be is, is great for our team to be put into this environment, especially for the players that have never done a road trip in the SEC, because I think it's going to be a very similar type of atmosphere. And they'll, you know, they'll certainly be challenged by a great team in a hostile environment. And uh, you know, just the whole uh, routine of having to pack and get on a bus and fly to the place and you know, be the visiting team on the scoreboard, all that kind of stuff, it will be new to them, to the first-year players. And so I think nothing bad comes out of putting them through that kind of an experience. Now, it would be nice to win the games, and we're going to do everything we can to give ourselves the best chance to win. Is there any sense to follow? What would you say is the hallmark of a David Pierce team? I'll tell you, Brian, I, I've coached against David uh, when he was at Sam Houston State. We played in a regional winner's bracket game against him. We had Aaron Nola pitching, and we had about the worst inning that you could possibly have in the first inning of that game. Uh, we made three errors. Uh, they scored five runs. Aaron threw 42 pitches. It was the hottest night of the year, and it was the winner's bracket game. And I had suspended one of our starting pitchers. So we didn't even have another starting pitcher. If we lost that game, and we had to win three more games in the regional without having a starting pitcher. It would have been a monumental task. Nola settled down, went six more innings on 60 pitches. We chipped away, chipped away, chipped away, and ended up winning that game. And I just remember walking away saying, man, that was really a good team that we just beat and very well coached. And the next thing you know, David got the job at Tulane. And uh, he did a terrific job there. I don't know what our record was against him. I know he beat us the last two in one year, but I, I don't remember exactly. But they were always well coached. And, um, you know, when this whole thing happened with the Texas job, you know, a few years ago, and there was some interest on their part in me, and when, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, take the job, obviously, David actually called me, and we talked about the Texas job at length. And it was his dream job. It wasn't my dream job, but it was his dream job. And uh, so I'm, I'm really happy that he got that, that position. And I know that, it's, that he'll do a good job there. He's an excellent coach. He's got an excellent assistant coaching staff as well. And they're, they're going to be play, they'll play confident. They'll play hard. They'll play fundamentally sound. They'll be aggressive. I mean, their hitters will get their, get their money's worth. I guess we did coach against them last year. We had a three-game series here. I always keep forgetting about that series for some reason. I don't know why, but I kept thinking the last time we played them was Texas was back in 09, but we played them last year three times, and, of course, won two out of three. But, uh, yeah, David, I think is David is really one of the best coaches in the country. His team will be well-prepared, and, you know, it'll be good games. What do you tell your outfielders about artificial turf? Well, we're going to get out there and practice tonight and see how bouncy it is. I keep hearing horror stories about how slow the infield is, that it's almost impossible to hit a ground ball through the infield. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never been to the field. This will be my first time to see the field in person. So I'll be learning as much as the players will be learning about it. And we'll do, we'll do some things tonight with practice and try to get a better feel for it in anticipation of the game tomorrow. Well, you talked about last year's series. And how nice is it, I guess, maybe not having to deal with Cody Clemens on the other team as well?